Prior to the exam, instruct the patient to wear shorts and a short sleeve shirt, as rolling up pant legs or sleeves may restrict blood flow. To prepare for the exam, first wrap the blood pressure cuffs at all sites. Typically, use a 10 centimeter cuff for the ankles, a 12 centimeter cuff for the arms, calf, and above the knee. Finally, a 17 centimeter contoured thigh cuff for the thighs. Ensure cuffs are not so tight they restrict blood flow and interfere with the test. Also verify cuffs are not so loose that they produce inaccurate pressures. It is important to place each cuff in the proper location. If the cuff is too high, it may result in false high pressure readings. If it is too low, the cuff may obstruct the Doppler's ability to locate the artery. Once the cuffs have been wrapped, prepare the unit for a segmental exam with PVR waveforms. First, press the Enter menu key to open the Options menu. Next, press the number 2 key on the keypad for system settings. Then press number 6 to select the Doppler modality. Then press the Enter menu key again to exit system settings. Open the Options menu by pressing the Enter menu key again. Press the number 1 key for Configure Examination. Press the number 5 key to select the Segmental with PVR Waveform option. Press the 1 through 5 keys to toggle through the various arterial sites to select desired sites to measure. Press the number 6 key to choose between performing the exam in line, down the leg, or lateral, side to side. Press Enter menu when finished. Instructions are for in line. You will be prompted to start at the right brachial artery site as seen on the display. To begin, simply press the Enter menu key twice and connect the hose to the right brachial cuff. Apply a dollop of ultrasound gel to the brachial artery site. Holding the Doppler probe at a 45 degree angle with the patient's forearm, use the Doppler probe to listen to the blood flow. Find an audible pulse and hold for several seconds to ensure that it is consistent. Hold the probe in place and press and hold the pump key until pressure reaches approximately 20 millimeters of mercury above the occlusion pressure and blood flow is no longer audible. Once this occurs, release the pump key and the cuff will automatically begin to deflate. When the pulse returns and the arterial blood flow becomes audible again, press the freeze key on the keypad to freeze the image on the graphic waveform display. When you have determined the pressure is correct, press the save key. If the pressure needs adjusting, use the up or down keys to move the caliper to the exact spot where pressure returned, or enter the desired number from the keypad. With the pressure recorded correctly, Press Save and then press the Enter menu key twice to proceed to the next site. The display will prompt you to move to the right thigh site. Connect the hose to the cuff at this site. Once connected, to obtain right thigh waveform, press and hold the pump key on the keypad until the cuff reaches 75 millimeters of mercury. It will stop automatically and deflate to 65 millimeters of mercury in order to capture the optimum PVR waveform on the display. If needed, press the scale key to optimize the waveform if it appears that it does not fit the screen correctly. Once the waveform is optimized, wait for it to stabilize and become consistent and press the freeze key. Adjust using the arrow keys as needed. When completed, press the save key and then press save again to move on. The display will prompt you to move to the systolic pressure at the right thigh. Apply a dollop of ultrasound gel to the right PT artery site. Holding the Doppler probe at a 45 degree angle with the patient's heel, use the Doppler probe to listen to the blood flow. Find an audible pulse and hold for several seconds to ensure that it is consistent. Hold the probe in place and press and hold the pump key until pressure reaches approximately 20 millimeters of mercury above the occlusion pressure and blood flow is no longer audible. Once this occurs, release the pump key and the cuff will automatically begin to deflate.
When the pulse returns and the arterial blood flow becomes audible again, press the freeze key on the keypad to freeze the image on the graphic waveform display. When you have determined the pressure is correct, press the save key. If the pressure needs adjusting, use the up or down keys to move the caliper to the exact spot where pressure returned, or enter the desired number from the keypad. With the pressure recorded correctly, press save, and then press the enter menu key twice to proceed to the next site. Simply continue to utilize the same instructions, following the automated test sequence and obtain the data for each corresponding site remaining on the right side. Then move on to the left side of the patient's body to complete the segmental exam.